Hi there, I'm Tianan Zhang from Western Michigan University. Here I'm telling you guys about a research article that me and Dr. Kareem Isani published on the current cancer drug targets about using tenopox virus as the oncolytic viral therapy for treating melanoma, which is the most aggressive skin cancer around the world. Oncolytic viruses are naturally occurring or genetically engineered viruses that can infect and kill the tumor cells and elicit the host anti-tumor immunity, therefore providing another promising therapeutic modality for the cancer patients. In this article, we mainly focus on one tenopox virus recombinant that we engineered by replacing the viral timing kinase gene with interleukin-2 transgene for expression. As interleukin-2 has been known as the T-cell growth factor and activates T-cells, macrophage, neutrophils, and natural killer cells, we're hoping to generate this recombinant expressing interleukin-2 to combine the virus oncolysis and the host anti-tumor immune responses. The innovative part of this article is that Previous research have mainly focused on the efficacy of interleukin-2 in activating the adaptive immune system. However, in here, we aim to investigate if interleukin-2 can elicit efficient innate immunity, and if the innate immunity together with the virus oncolysis could be therapeutically sufficient for regressing the melanoma tumors. Therefore, in order to achieve this goal, we chose T-cell deficient thymic immune mice to establish the melanoma tumors and then treat with a panel of tenopause virus recombinants. And here we show that this interleukin-2 expressing recombinant remarkably regresses the melanoma tumors in the absence of T-cells. And also in here we show that interleukin-2 expression significantly enhances the accumulation of the immune cells from the innate immune system, such as the macrophage and neutrophils. Therefore, we provide compelling evidence that Interleukin-2 expressing tenopox virus recombinant could be a promising therapeutic modality for the cancer patients who have T-cell deficiency or T-cell suppression. The second interesting finding we show in this article is that interleukin-2 expression significantly suppresses the replication of tenopox virus, and this inhibitory effect occurs inside of the cell and without activating the interference signaling pathway. In the end, I hope you guys could Enjoy reading this article and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.